Hello guys, today we will discuss about the problem related to the Boolean algebra in digital logic design or digital electronics. Here the problem is demonstrate the validity of the following identities by means of truth tables. That means we have to verify the given identities, identities means expressions with the help of truth tables. Come to the first part of the question, that is the first identity is D Morgan's theorem for three variables. There are two types of theorems in D Morgan's. The first theorem says that X plus Y plus Z whole bar equal to X bar Y bar Z bar. Second theorem says that X Y Z whole bar equal to X bar plus Y bar plus Z bar. Here plus means R operator, multiplication means AND operator which is indicated with the dot symbol and the bar means not gate or complement. Now to verify these theorems with the help of truth tables, we should follow the priority of operations to be performed. The priority of operations are the first one is parenthesis part that is bracket part. The second one is and operation. The third operation is or. The fourth one is not operation or complementing operation. We have to follow these priority of operations to simplify these expressions using truth tables. Now let us come to the verification of first theorem. That is x plus y plus z whole bar equal to x bar y bar z bar. Now let us take the truth table and write the input variables in first column x, y, z. With these three input variables, we can write eight combinations of numbers. Eight combinations of numbers are 0 to 7. So first we should write the numbers 0 to 7 numbers, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now, with the, for these eight numbers, we should write the equivalent binaries. For these values, we should write the equivalent binaries based on the three binary weights. Those are 2 power 0, 2 power 1 and 2 power 2. The equivalent values are 1, 2 and 4. For 0, the equivalent binary is 0, 0, 0. Write 1 in binary, place 1 in the position of binary weight 1. The remaining bits should be 0. Similarly, to write the equivalent value of binary for 2, we should place 1 in the place of binary weight 2 and the remaining weights should be 0. Similarly, for 3, we should place 1s in the place of 2 and 1. 2 plus 1 equal to 3. The remaining bit is 0. For 4, here we have the binary weight is 4. So that place 1 in the place of binary weight 4. The remaining bits should be 0. The same way with 5, 6 and 7. To verify this expression, First, we should take the LHS part. After that, we should write the RHS part. Then we should check whether these two are equal or not. From the LHS part, according to the order of priorities of operations, the first priority of operation is parenthesis, that is bracket part. Here in LHS part, we have bracket part. In bracket part, so that we have to simplify this bracket part first. In bracket part, the next of order of priority is Ring operation. So that x plus y plus z, x plus y plus z means Ring of three input variables. Now we should write the x plus y plus z values based on the input values. We have to remember that the basic truth table for Ring operation is if we take the two input variables 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. Then the Ring operation gives A plus B, which gives 0, 1, 1, 1. That means when both inputs are 0, then only the output is 0. Otherwise, the output will be 1. The Ring of two input variables should be 1. In the same way, we should write the AND gate operation also. The ANDing of two input variables, which gives which also gives the product of the two input variables. That means when both inputs are ones, so then the output will be one. In the remaining all cases, the output should be zero. This is the truth table for ending operation and ORing operation of two input variables. The same logic can be applied for any number of input variables. Now, based on this logic truth table, we should write the second column, x plus y plus z. 
that means r ring of three input variables when all the input variables are zero then the output will be zero if any one of the input is one then the output will be one that means the remaining all combinations gives one as output next coming to the third column that is x plus y plus z whole bar later we have to perform the complement operation according to the priority of operation now whole bar means complement of the second column that means zero becomes as one once becomes as zeros so that zero 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 part in rhs part first we have to perform the complemented value of x bar y bar z bar later we have to perform the adding operation now x bar means complement of the x that means zeros becomes as ones and ones becomes as zeros now y dash y dash means complement of y that means one one zero zero one one zero zero similarly z dash z dash means complement of z one zero one zero one zero now x dash y dash z dash that means the ending of these three complemented values when all inputs are ones, then only the output will be one. In the remaining all cases, if any one of the input is zero, the output will be zero. That means zero, 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 zero. zero. Now let us check the LHS part and RHS part, whether these two columns are same or not. Yes, these two values are same. Then we can say that the first identity is satisfied. Now coming to the second one. The second theorem says that x, y, z whole bar equal to x bar plus y bar plus z bar. Let us take the first LSP part, that is x, y, z whole bar. To verify with the help of truth table, again we should take the input variables in the first column and write the eight combinations of binary based on binary weights. Now coming to the second column. In second column from LHS part, we should follow again the order of priorities of operations. Here the first priority is parenthesis. Here also we have bracket part so that we have to choose bracket part first. That is X, Y, Z. Inside bracket, we have to follow again the order of priority. That is the second operation is adding operation. That means first we have to perform X, Y, Z operation. X, Y, Z means the multiplication of three input variables also called as adding of three input variables and means multiplication now when all the inputs are ones then the output will be one and if any one of the input is zero then the output will be zero so that all the remaining combinations as zeros now coming to the third column after finished this adding of three input variables then complement this product value that means x, y, z whole bar. Then it complements the second column values as zeros becomes as 1 and 1s becomes as 0. This is x, y, z whole bar. So with this the LHS part is completed. Coming to the RHS part. In RHS part here we have x bar. x bar means here there is no parenthesis and uh, there is no adding. There is no Ring. So first we have to perform the complement of each variable and then Ring of these complemented values. Then X bar. Then we should write the X bar. X bar means complement of the X. That means 1, 1, 1, 1. Then 0, 0, 0, 0. Similarly, Y dash. Y dash means complement of the Y. 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. Similarly, Z dash. Complement of Z dash. 1, 0, 1, 0. 1, 0. Coming to the last column, that is x bar plus y bar plus z bar. That means Ring of these three complemented values. If any one of the input is 1, then the output will be 1. If all the inputs are zeros, then the output will be 0. Now, based on the operation of the Ring operation of two variables, we should write the Ring for three input variables, three complemented variables. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Now, let us check the LHS part and RHS part. These two values are equal. So that means the, the second theorem identity also verified with the help of truth table. Now, coming to the second identity. The second identity says that the distributive law 
that is x plus y z equal to x plus y into x plus z. In distributive law also we have two types of laws. The, this is the first law x plus y z equal to x plus y into x plus z. To verify this identity, let us take the truth table and write the number of input variables in the first column and then write equivalent binary of eight combinations. Next, in second column from LSP part, according to the order of priorities of operations, first we should find the YZ value. YZ means adding of Y and Z input variables. When both input values are ones, then only the output will be one. If any one of the input is zero, of these two input variables, the output will be 0. That means yz 0, 0, so that the output will be 0, 0, 0. Here it is 1, 1, 1, 0, 0 means 0, again 0, this is also 0. Now, in third column, according to the order of priority of operation, after yz found, next x plus yz we have to perform. That means Ring of x with yz value. That means we should focus on x and yz only. Then 0 plus 0 is 0 because the R ring says that if any one of the input is 1, the output will be 1. If both inputs are 0, the output will be 0. 0, 0 means 0. Again, 0. Again, 0. Again, 1, 1. Here it is 1, 1, 1, 1. This is x plus yz. The LHS part is completed. Coming to the RHS part. In RHS part, there are two brackets. First, we have to finish the first parenthesis. Then second parenthesis. After that, we have to adding these two parenthesis parts. Inside the parenthesis, we have to perform the ring operation so that in the next column, we should take the x plus y operation. x plus y means ring of x and y. That means we should see the x and y values only, x and y. Now, x plus y means if both inputs are zeros, then the output will be 0. Here it is 0. 0, 1 means 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Now, coming to the next bracket, that is x plus z. x plus z means we have to focus only on x and z columns, x and z. 0, 0 means 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Next, we have to add these two terms. That means these two columns should be added. That means 0, 0, 0. Adding means when both inputs are 1, then only the output will be 1. In the remaining all cases, the output is 0. So here it is 0, this is also 0. Now we should check the LHS part and RHS part of this theorem, of this identity. This is RHS, this is LHS. Yes, these two are equal. That means the second identity also verified with the help of truth table. Next identity, that is the second distributive law. That is x of y plus z equal to x y plus x z. To verify this second distributive law, again we should take the truth table and write the input variables and eight combinations of binary. In second column, we should find the value of y plus z from LHS part. So if, uh, if both inputs are 0, then the output will be 0. Otherwise, the output will be 1. Now, it is 1, 1, 1. Here it is 0, 1, 1, 1. Now, come to the third column. That is, x is ended with y plus z. Now, we should focus on x and y plus z columns only. Now, we should perform the ending operation between these two. 0, 0 means 0. Ending means when both inputs are 1, then the output will be 1, otherwise 0. Now, 0, 1 means 0. 0, 1 means 0. 0. Now, it is 0. 1, 1, 1. Now coming to the RHS part. In RHS part, first we should find the xy value, then xz value, then we should perform the Ring between these two AND values. Now let us take y xy. Now 
should find the xy value. That means you should focus only on x and y columns. When both inputs are ones, then the output will be one, otherwise zero. That is zero, 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 zero. Next one zero, 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 one, one. Next xz. To find xz only, we should concentrate on x and z columns. Zero, 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 zero. Now it is again zero. It is one, zero, one. Now we have to R in these two values, xy plus xz plus means R in operation. Now we should focus on these two columns, last two columns to find the R in of value, these two combinations. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. Now we should check whether the RHS and LHS are same or not. This is LHS part. This is RHS part. Yes, these two values are same. That means this identity is also satisfied with the truth table. Now let us see the next identity. That is the associative law. Is that x plus y plus z equal to x plus y plus z. Now to verify this using truth table, again we should write the first column as earlier now come to the second column from lsp first we should perform the parenthesis part that is y plus z y plus z means we should focus on y and z if any one of the input is one the output will be one if both inputs are zero the output will be zero now based on that logic we should write the values like this come to the next column that is x plus y plus z that means the, this y plus z is ring with the x. Now we should focus on x and y plus z terms only. Now ring these two values, then it gives 0, 1, 1, 1. Again, 1, 1, 1, 1. Come to the RHS part. From RHS part, we should perform the bracket part x plus y, ring of x and y only. Now we should concentrate x and y columns. Now from these two values, it is 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Now the last one is x plus y plus z, nothing but we should concentrate only on this x plus y and z columns only, adding up these two values, 0, 0, 0, next 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Now we should check the LHS part and RHS part of this truth table of this identity. That means this is LHS, this is RHS, both are same. That means this identity is also satisfied using truth table. Now coming to the last identity that is associated to second law. X of yz equal to xy of z. To verify this again we should write the first column as it is. Now come to the second column. From LHS part we should perform the parenthesis part first. Yz means adding of y and z. Now we should concentrate only on y and z. Then adding of these two values gives 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. Now we should add this yz with x in the second column. Now we should concentrate x and yz only. Then it gives 0, 0, 0, 0. Now it is 0, 0, 0. It is 1. Now coming to the RHS part. First we should perform the parenthesis part XY. XY means only concentrate on X and Y columns. So 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Now this XY is ended with Z. Concentrate only on XY and Z. Then it gives uh, 0, 0. 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Now we should check LHS part and RHS part. This is LHS part, this is RHS part. Yes, these two values are equal. That means this identity also verified with the help of truth table. This is the complete solution for this given problem. Thank you.